Hi everybody, I am Ethan Warren Good Kind and I am a good and kind person that teaches chess. And yes, good kind is really my last name, so I describe myself as a good and kind person. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my games that was played um, at the Women's Chess Championship. And it was played, um, and this tournament was held in Berkeley, California. And if you don't know where Berkeley is, it's across the bay from San Francisco. So the game that I'm going to show you, I had the right pieces and my opponent was Kim. This was the last round and and so let's get started. So um, I moved the pawn to e4 and I'm just going to let you, um, I'm going to tell you more about my um, opponent. Um, Kim's rating um, is in the 1700s and in this tournament she beat a master and a 1900. So, I was expecting a very, very tough fight, um, but unfortunately the game lasted only 17 moves, so it was a really quick game. So anyway, I moved the pawn to e4, and Kim moves the pawn to e6. I moved the pawn to d4 to gain more space, and it opens up lines for um, my two bishops, so I'm happy. And Kim decides to go to d5. This is called the French defense. And I think um, most people will push up the pawn or just take the pawn. I decided to play differently. So I moved the bishop um, to d3. And if this pawn does take it, then my bishop could just um, take the pawn back. But um, she doesn't take the pawn. Instead, Kim decides to go to f6 and in this um this move it attacks this pawn i wanted to gain space so i moved the pawn to e5 and this knight can't go to these two squares because of my queen so she decides to retreat back um to d7 and then it's my turn so i end up moving the pawn um, the, the knight to e2 and you might be asking okay how come i didn't move the knight to this square. The reason why is because I wanted to move this pawn here um, to support this pawn. And also when I move this knight out then um, I can castle. My opponent um, decides to move the pawn to c5 and I think this is a really good move because this pawn um, attacks this pawn so she is trying to get control of the center. And if this pawn does move here then it traps this bishop and of course like if I get a trapped bishop like that's not good for me. So because of that I decided to move the pawn to c3 and my opponent decides to um, put more pressure on this pawn um, by moving the knight to c6 and I wanted to get the king out of the center so I decided to castle and my and then so Kim decided to just take the pawn and I simply just um, take the pawn back by um, c takes d4 and then my opponent um, makes a big mistake so she ends up moving the pawn to f6 and that's a big mistake um, I think that she should have moved the queen to um, b6 to put more pressure on um, this pawn so she moved the pawn to f6 and you might be asking, okay, why is this a big mistake? And the reason why is because it opens up the king's diagonal, okay? At this moment, like, um, I can't, um, I can't get, um, I want to, I want to move my queen to, um, this square so it can, um, check this king. I think she wanted me to um, capture this pawn so the knight could just take it. But of course, like I don't do this. Again, I want my queen to go to this square so I could check this king. I can't, my queen can't go here because of this knight. So I thought of um, a really, I, I, I thought um, about this. And so I decided to move this queen over, I'm sorry, I decided to move the knight over to f4. And this is a really powerful move because it now, on um, this move, it lets the queen go to um, h5 so it can check the king. And also, this knight also um, attacks um, this pawn, and this pawn is not protected. 
Um, also, another thing about this move is, do you see this knight? It's attacking this pawn, and this knight is protecting it. But when I move the knight to f4, this knight is not protecting this pawn. Um, but that's okay. My opponent Cam decides to um, take the pawn on um, d4, and I'm okay because my original plan was to move this queen over to h5, and that's what I did, and I'm in a really happy mood right now because um, I'm attacking black right now. So um, my opponent decides to go to um, e7, and I decide to continue my attack, and I move the knight um, to g6, and this knight um, um, attacks the king and the rook and this bishop at the same time. And you might be asking, well, can't this pawn just take the knight? And yes, that is true, but if you really think about this, this pawn is pinned. Why? Because this queen um, would be attacking this rook and this rook be, would be unprotected. So she decides to um, um, take the knight. So you might be asking, well, why can't she just move the king to e8 or f7? That's actually a really good question. The reason why um, moving the king to e8 or f7 is because the king would be on the same diagonal as this queen. So um, if the king does go to um, f7 or e8, then I could just um, take the rook with my knight and I would be checking the king. So that would not be I'm um, good for Kim. So that's why she de decided to just take my knight. And um, in this position, I decided to not take the rook right away because my pawn is under attack. And I noticed that, oh, I could just take this pawn um, with check. So, um, so that's what I did. And the pawn is checking the king. And because of that, this pawn cannot take the queen. So my opponent decides to um, take back with this pawn, and it's my turn, and um, my queen is under attack, so I decided to just take the rook. And right now, I think that I have a really good position. One thing um, I noticed, this is kind of interesting, I, I haven't even moved my knight and my bishop out. And she does have a really powerful knight over here. My, okay, so Kim decides to move the pawn to g5, and I'm not too sure why she did that. Maybe she wanted to just, um, she didn't want my bishop to take this pawn, so I think that's why she moved the pawn to g5. And for me, I wanted to continue to attack on Black's king, and how do I do that? I was thinking about moving moving the knight over here, but then I was kind of like unclear like where is this knight gonna go? I figured like oh I was thinking like oh if the knight goes here then she could just move the pawn to a six and then where is my knight gonna go? I'm not really too sure. And because of that I figure okay, well how about I move this bishop out? And then I figured like, oh, okay, maybe if I move my bishop here, then maybe she could just move the pawn here, and then like, how do I get this bishop into play? And so I thought of um, an interesting move, so I moved the pawn to b3, and the reason why I did that is because now I can get the bishop to um, check this king on um, a3, and I thought this was a, I thought this like, okay, I thought this was gonna be a good plan. So Kim decided to go to e5, and I think the reason why she moved the, um, this pawn is because she wanted to um, move the pawn to e4 to attack my bishop. And once my bishop goes to um, this square, then this knight, um, well, I don't, I don't know. I think this would be a strong attack. If my bishop does go here, then, um, my, then her knight could just take it. But actually, you know what? I think my bishop is trapped. Um, so I thought this was a powerful move. But anyway, it's my move, so I decided to just continue the attack. So I moved the bishop to a3. This bishop is checking the king, 
and, she, and notice that this bishop cannot go here. And my opponent, um, so Kim decided to move the king to f7. And I'm in, I'm in a really happy mood right now because my queen and my two bishops, they're attacking this king. So this king is very exposed right now. I decided to um, check the king um, by moving the queen to h7. And she should have moved um, the bishop to... Um, g7, um, but she doesn't do that, and so she so so she ends up moving the king um, to e6. But this was a big mistake because it's checkmate in one, and um, I like to see no. I I like to know if you can see the checkmate. Um, and I move the queen to um, g8. And this is checkmate. I thought this checkmate is very beautiful because the two bishops um, make the checkmate happen. Because this king can't go to this square um, and this square because of this bishop. And this king can't go to this square because of my bishop. And it's interesting because none of Black's pieces can block the check. And we cannot even capture this queen. So I thought this was a very beautiful checkmate. So again, um, I hope that you enjoyed um, this video. If you have any questions about this game or my um, experience playing in this tournament, please let me know. You can just comment below. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here and you can also connect with me on Facebook and you could click here and if you are a beginner chess player you can click here to download my free ebook and you can also connect with me on Twitter by clicking here. Overall I had a really fun time at this tournament and it was fun to meet other women and um, there were a lot of girls on that play too. So um, it was fun. Um, the people were really nice and I had a really fun time. So I'm hoping to um, come back next year to the tournament. And um, it was good to catch up with um, some of my friends. So anyway, thank you so much for watching.